So look, in the interest of fair play and a bit of sport, we're going to give this old country music thing a chance, so... We'll see how we get on. Apparently this gangster's playing at the bash as well. Apparently she's just up here. Just in a lay by here apparently. Hello dear! Hello! I have to give you a lift or something. Are you playing at the farmer's bash? I am. Any chance of a lift? Will you get your sword? get your sword now? I'll sort that guitar out for you. Thank you very much. So you're a singer? I am. Or a performer? Yeah. A bit of both. Do you actually sing? I do, yeah. Like you're not one of these, you know, where it goes... <laughs> and then the, 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 all the no, pre No, I don't mind, no. no. Don't mind? No. I wouldn't know how to. I'd do it wrong. Welcome to my baby. What do you think of this for a track? This is actually... It's a very cool. There's a lot of space in it, isn't oh, it? there is, I. I know nearly too much space for whenever you get a good looking girl in the seat. <laughs> well this farmer's bash gig that we've got ourselves roped into doing, you're like one of the headline artists. I am, yeah, I'm delighted to be. I yeah. said I'll take, this is our make a wish tractor, it's, a, it's an old 30 year old Ford tractor. We've done it all up and we're raffling it off for all proceeds to make a wish. We did it last year oh, so wow. we've a, we set ourselves a target of 200 grand within them two triggers, that'll be 200 grand we're aiming to raise for Make-A-Wish inside a year and a half. We're wow. very, very close to it already. We got 130,000 sterling or 150,000 euros last year for the one that we did, so... Um, How are you doing? How are you raising the money? Just sell the tickets. It's a, it's for this tractor here, it's, a, it's only a pound a ticket. And all wow. proceeds go to Make-A-Wish. It's our tractor, we have... Uh, We've done all the work to it, and uh, so that's that's our involvement in the farmer's batch. We wanted to get behind and, and get that out there. So, and that's then a great cause. New Holland, they've sponsored us with this tractor for the year. Although this is a very special tractor now. And what makes this one apart from the cruise control? I obviously. know. What makes it so special compared to other ones? Well, this tractor here was named after a little fella, a wee four-year-old called Bailey, Bailey Morrow. He was very ill with cancer. And uh, one of his uh, last wishes was to meet Donkey from Grassman. So I went down and lay down with him on the floor and we had a wee chat and I was telling him all about this big special track that was coming and he loved his new Hollands. You ever notice how when you're out and about and you'll know in the country scene, everybody has a favourite. Yes. They're either New Holland or Massey. Well, he seemed to love the New Hollands. And his eyes lit up, even though he was so sick. And we went down and we spent the, the afternoon with him and we took him out in the lorry and then I was over gathering up this tractor then and uh, we decided to do something very special. So on the mud guards, as you'll see, we've dedicated the tractor to him oh, using, yeah. using our logo and the Wii. So that's that's what oh, we've that's done. And so that's that's what makes this a real, this, this road train here is really, really special. So like, you may be popular. But count yourself very lucky that you know yeah, I've allowed. I don't let many people up in beside me. You know I'd be, a, <laughs> I'd be a sort of hateful old brute. You know. So about you, what yes. is this country scene all about? Because everywhere I go, it's you're either in the Tully Glass or you're in the Bush Town or you're in the Moy or I, wherever. You're everywhere. Well, thankfully, yeah, we're we're really busy um, to the point where we're getting very little sleep at the minute. We're on the road so much. And, um, Amen, sister. I know that one. Yeah, but it's it's um it's it's been something that's I well I've noticed anyway over the last maybe five or six years that especially with the young younger ones and farmers as well, uh, country music has has really you know taken off. I think with the the younger artists coming on, it's, yeah. it's really helped that you know and I mentioned that Marty was on you know the song that that made him famous is uh, Hit the Diff. 
your uncle Hugo's on tonight and Robert Mazel's on as well and Derek Ryan um, you know as well as myself so there's a, a, a good mix of young ones on the bill tonight to, to bring a lot of people yeah. out to the biggest the biggest show that's ever been in Ireland and it is it like I mean that's that what that is genuinely what turns me on about this it's um, I'll say this and I don't mean it with any disrespect to any, any venue or anything mm -hmm. but this is the ultimate venue within Northern Ireland, yeah. the Odyssey. You don't yeah. get better. Yeah. It's it's proper. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like it's like okay, the hotels and you, I suppose you are always doing the circuit and all the hotels. And I'm not saying anything bad about them, but this is this well, is this is, that, this, real, this is where like. your Celine Dion's and yeah. your Shania. I presume you look up to them. Oh, hugely, yeah. yeah. You know, That's where they play. A, this is the biggest show that I'll have you know I'll have done. So you know, to be given that opportunity and and to, to know that it's going to be you know such a fantastic night and, and I'm sure that it's going to be a brilliant. Well, be I'm there. You're going to be there, and are you going to be dancing? Do you know how to jive? No, you know what I'm going to do. I seen this at the Plough. We were there last week. There was these two old guys, and they set a brush down, and they were dancing oh, the around. Dance. And I'm going to buy like a thousand brushes. And I'm just going to throw them onto the floor, and that will just be unreal. Everybody's going, I'm going to dance around. You and me's going to do a brush shaft dance. I was watching Derek Ryan's new video there. I seen they get a wee bit of our stand that they play on into it. Oh, that's good. Oh, I haven't seen that video yet. You and Derek sort of burst onto the scene at the same time, or well, maybe maybe I'm wrong, but I'm not hugely into it. So I like me rock, and I like me I, I like me American country, but. Not massively, and they just the Irish country, and that's fair enough. That's yeah, my I'm thing. Sure everyone has their but own taste. in my head, you you and Derek definitely came around the same sort of time. Yeah, uh, well, but we it did. Seems you like know, it, I I came on the road on, on 2011. Um, I think. Six years. Yeah, 2011, and I'm not sure of when Derek actually definitely you know he came on to the scene, but it was around the same time, if not slightly after. Um, you know, a few months or a, or a year or so afterwards, but yeah, it's, it's been it's been a really quick six years. How long do we have to get to the gig? Well, to be honest, I think the boys thought I was going to use lorries, but I get this for free and red diesel's cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we're going to be sitting here, can we can we listen to some music? I'll put you on whatever you want. No, like there was, there's this, there's this female artist, and she's actually just released a, a brand new album today. To, today? Yeah, today. Are we she's talking about be, you? Are you trying to plug your album here? <laughs> Maybe. You think this is like one of these chat shows where you come on and plug your album? <laughs> that costs money, love. <laughs> I've, I've listened to you talk about your tractors. I know, but that is sexy. Is your album there's sexy? A song about that. She thinks my tractor's sexy. It that. really turns her on. See? She's you always like staring country? at me. Ah, but he, that's, he's, that's Kenny. Yeah, I suppose. While I'm chugging listen, along. Do you want to listen to some, uh, some good country music? Right. Well, I don't, don't be horrible, but I don't have any of your music on me. Have you any? <laughs> it's a good job I do. <laughs> oh, I can still turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, this your, is your chance to mine. Mine? Yeah. When did you know the words first? <laughs> this reminds me of this is like me in church, you know. When I go to church, you get the hymns and all the singing and all, and I'm like. You see the words and you don't know them. Yeah. So the album's out today. It's called Who I Am, and um, that was my my latest single called Girl with a Fishing Rod. Girl and with they, a Fishing Rod. Yeah. What's the does this, do you like fishing? Have you ever um, been fishing? Very rarely. <laughs> Probably the only day was I when I shot the video. <laughs> you got to believe in what you're selling, woman! <laughs> I, just, I love the... I love do you know the, what I um, think? I think this calls for a wee boat. A boat? A wee boat on the lake in Fermanagh and a couple of fishing rods and a wee lie back some sunny day. So that would be cool. Do you ever take you, a day off? Are you off? proposing? Is this like a, just a, a oh, social no, just, event? Or it's just, just, no. is it just me and you? Oh. Or are there going to be other people there? Okay. 
So you're from Glasgow. Mm -hmm. You live in Enniskillen. Mm -hmm. Is it fair to say that you're most are you most popular here in Ireland, north and south? Yeah. And yeah. you you know in your own opinion, yeah. Yeah. Well, I I moved over. That was I moved over here because there was a, a full time you know country scene here and a country market demand for the music. And um, and is that your that full time life? Yeah. Had you a career before? I worked. I was an office manager for my dad. My dad's a construction a construction business. So you know your way around a digger. I do. Yeah. And a lorry loader and recycling and some tractors. You you can drive a tractor. Some like yeah. Just I a, can't say I've, I've drove one with a. You can get a drive. I'm up for a challenge. Am I allowed to drive it? I don't want to put you out or anything. No, well. Seems how it's like. Well, you see, a big enough deal to have someone in the cab. No, but you see, if you think about this logically, you'll be so busy focusing this here, I'll be able to like break through and, and give you a wee hug and <laughs> show all the things and all the ins and outs, and that's very important. Yeah. I'll put another one on. Yes, please. <laughs> it's called Bye Bye. Bye Bye? Mm. That's a bit early for that. <laughs> I bet you're planning to walk. <laughs> When I said I was on the road all the time, you, you're never off the road either. Well, how many miles would you do? Well, in, like, the average one. Or? Depends what we're doing. I mean, I I drove this tractor the length of Oxford and back. So I have. We did a challenge this year, um, six days over Ireland. We decided to try and bail silage in every county. In Ireland in six days and raise money for two local charities. Now it was a another another group called the Active Agri Association, a group of the farmers from Calvin. We joined forces together. Yeah. We, we did that for Cancer Fund for Children and for the Ronald McDonald House in Dublin. Well, in that week I did 1130 something miles in this tractor with that behind me in Ireland in that one week. Then we would be everywhere. Yesterday we were in Tullamore, you know, the ploughing match. We do all the big agricultural shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Yes, we now. Like it. Bye bye. <laughs> Is that my signal? I'm oh, not. A, oh, no, 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 you haven't slapped me yet. I'm doing well. I'm, do, <laughs> I'm doing really well. I'm gonna have to get a coffee here shortly. I can't keep going. I was going. just gonna ask if we get like a wee snack we of some description. We can. It's a long enough old road up to the SSE in a tractor here. <laughs> but you're loving it. I'm actually loving it. Yeah, you would go, you see, already, you only met me and you would go with me anywhere. <laughs> well, I don't really have much choice. No, when you do, the door does open. I just come in here because it gets us out of the way, you know, don't want to blog everything up. You know, I'm a very responsible tracker, man. <laughs> see how smooth and it, it is, it's easier it for you to turn. It's nothing to do with that. <laughs> It's nothing to do with my turning the ballot. Can you see the handbrake, look? There's hand lots of gadgets though, isn't it? don't even need the... I know there's buttons there and I have no idea what, what to do. What are all those for? I, um, that puts on a wee light. You see it? <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> That's... <laughs> What's the light for? I don't know, it just looks good. That's sensitivity, so this is what... It's in handbrake now, so when you're looking to drive this tractor, you just push that forward. Okay. And she starts to propel herself forward. Okay. And uh, so that's nice and smooth. And if you push that, that's like a little bit more intense. Right. And then that's like maximum effectiveness. Sit back in the seat. <laughs> sort of thing. That's not really. Right. I was going to say, would I actually do that? Yeah. No, it's not. Just as as that. I you fell in love with it now. Would you buy one? I would. Yeah. But I wouldn't spend 150 grand on one. What? That's 150 grand. See that blue paint? It's Maserati blue. It's you cute. are joking me. 150 grand? Mm -hmm. Genuinely. 150 what? grand. What? Wow. It does all these funny things like diagnostic. You see all that there? If you want, hide it. Right. Well, you... I'm, 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 I'm bothered a wee bit with a bigness, uh, so you're going to have to get out to let me out. Okay. Oh, you're fine. You're gonna get a country girl. Woo!
See? You're doing it. No problem to you. See my technique now when I drive, you see that? <laughs> yeah, smooth. I am pretty smooth, you know, for a big man. Yeah. Go on ahead, later on. Get her fast. Oh, There's traffic in front of me. Don't worry about them. They'll move. If they don't, it's insured. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not paying for that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who will be right now. <laughs> You're doing it. Did you enjoy our wee coffee, dear? I love the coffee, dear. Thanks very much for coffee. Not a problem when you did buy it. Appreciate it. Well, you know, typical man, eh? Yeah, well, um, sure, we're in a modern world. Yeah. Just means that the next date you're coughing up the bill. Gotta get a girl. You gotta get a country. Oh, well, at least there's a next date. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing something right. Are you gonna get one? Who knows? Take her away lively, as we say. That's your first corner. See? Navigate it. Then I'll have to get you into the yard. <laughs> through the gates. I bet you thought I would be a nightmare at this. Not at all. I do believe. I'm like, you know your boy that runs diversity? Uh -huh. He says he could teach anyone to dance. I think I could teach anyone to drive. Really? Oh, aye. You haven't taught me how to drive. All you've told me is how to... I told you to push that forward. But not how much. Like, it's all on how much you push it and how smoothly you push it. Tell big old woman, hey. You put your effort in, you try your best, you show her how to do something, and as soon as they get the hang of it, you didn't you mean nothing? I do this myself. <laughs> Tell big old woman. She probably thinks she can sing too. <laughs> You finished? Uh, okay, your turn. Yeah. You see, I can't, I'm half woman. Well, I'm glad you said it. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you, you said that you don't know much about the country scene. Well, if I'm being completely honest, I don't know an awful lot about this scene either. Yeah. So, what is coming up for you? Like well, grass men, obviously, we've talked about the charity work and stuff, but behind that, there's the element of the business, which is we've built it upon making. DVDs and videos about farming for farmers and stuff like way. that. You're going right here, and uh, we we have a new DVD coming out, which is basically based on this tractor behind us, the Mega West tractor. So it's about the story of the tractor. It's it's going to involve a lot of publicity for this tractor here. That we actually videoed this being made at the factory, and so that'll all go into the next DVD, which will be released in time for Christmas. And then as merchandise selling on top of that, all our our t-shirts and our hats and our hoodies and our coats so that's all sold now so our our busiest time of the year we would tend to do two-thirds of our year's trade would tend to come in november and december really just for christmas okay we yeah, are like yeah. best mates with santa you actually can do this I'm telling you <laughs> there's no flies well, on me would you not like to be out in a field, like with a big plough or something on, and really putting it through its paces something. Is just, that a challenge? Yeah. I'm just, would you not like to be doing that? Yeah. Is that an invite or a challenge or just, just a question? Well, to be honest, based on today's, you're writing hard work, like, but I think I could teach you to plough. You Imagine think? your fans. We should actually, next music, there's one for you. A music video with the grassmen. 